Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Jaeger262, and we have some very interesting Armored Warfare news to go over today. As you can see, finally, in development is the Type 16 MCV, which stands for Maneuver Combat Vehicle, you can see that down here in bold. And the reason this is so special, which if you're just going to go read this through while I'm talking, you'll see this is going to be the second ever Japanese vehicle implemented in Armored Warfare. Now that's not the interesting part. This is a vehicle I've wanted for a very long time. It's going to be a tier 7 tank destroyer. It is a tank destroyer in real life and it operates a lot like the Italian Centauro which is also at tier 7. But here's what makes it really interesting and again you can go and I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to read this article. It tells you the history of it, um, when it switched over to Mitsubishi's Heavy Industries, how many were built in the past I think three years development started in 2007 all this great stuff about it and here's what it looks like right now the model but what makes it so interesting I'm going to go back and give you a rundown of how it will operate is this part right here it's going to be a tier 7 progression tank destroyer so not a premium like the type 90 which is the only Japanese vehicle in the game now it's an MBT this will be progression and what makes it super interesting is it will be available through a new dealer. This part right here, implementing an update 0.31. And that makes me think, the reason I wanted to cover this, that we are going to get more Japanese vehicles. And the reason I say that is, as you can see by the base color here, it is the standard Japanese blue-green from their very early armored vehicles back in World War II. And then the Cold War period, that is the color they would just paint their vehicle straight out of the factory before applying camouflage. And as you know, the primer colors or basic factory colors of the nations is how we get base colors for our vehicles in armored warfare. So Russian standard green, olive draft for American. We have the really interesting Israeli desert also. And now we have Japanese blue green. And because it's going to be a new dealer, and because they have built the model with that color, and again, that's just a cosmetic thing. It could just be for this vehicle, the Type 16. But I'm an optimist, and I am very hopeful that that means since they balanced, or since they made the model in that color, and we're getting a new dealer, that the Type 16 will be one of many Japanese vehicles to come. And if you look right after, it talks about how it'll be exactly like the American Dream branch of vehicles. Which makes you think if we're starting at tier 7, just like that branch did, well, actually it started at tier 8, all of the Japanese vehicles in game will be high tier. And that is very interesting because, as a lot of people know, way back in 2016, right after this game came out, if you were around like I was, a big question was why can't we get the Type 10 main battle tank in Armored Warfare? or other high-tier Japanese IFVs, AFVs, and even ATGM tank destroyers. Well, that looks like it could be a possibility for update 0.31, and that is really, really cool, and I'm really happy to see new nations and new vehicles come into the game. Now, to give you just a basic, and again, just like they'll tell you, and I'll tell you every time, these are all subject to change. We are a long way off from update 0.31, so don't actually look at these statistics as how it'll be balanced, i.e. the penetration stats here. But unless they really change something, I would say it's safe to assume all of these rounds are going to be put into the game, which means you might see these MBTs. I mean, these are gun numbers here, but they also correspond to tanks and tank destroyers from the Cold War period. So hopefully we'll see those in the game. But that can all change. Now, this will be using a 105mm gun, just like the Centauro. However, they say it's balanced to be more like the Royal Ordnance L7, which you see in the game on, I believe, the Chieftain. And it operates a lot like the Rymatel one, which is on the Leopard. I haven't played the Centauro as much as I would like, so I don't know how that gun operates, but this is going to play more like an MBT weapon instead of a tank destroyer weapon, and the main difference here is that it is manually loaded. So if you do play the Centauro, you know you get four shots in an autoloader clip, and then you reload the shots as you need them, just like a Merkava. 
this will be one round every time and you have to reload that round now they do balance it they say later on that it will be eight rounds a minute so four seconds reload time very fast it's going to fire armor fin discarding sabo rounds heat rounds hesh rounds and a atgm that is indigenous to japan with over 600 millimeters of penetration and at tier 7 that's actually really good that can almost give you an edge if you're using ATGMs and avoid APS against tier 9 vehicles but I wouldn't count on it the armor is balanced right now exactly the same as the Centauro so only auto cannons will be ricocheted everything else is going to penetrate straight to your vehicle but it is incredibly mobile they do say in the article that they plan to have it balanced to be as mobile as the Centauro. So if you like that really fast run and gun relocate to position style of play, this vehicle will fit it. Now, they are implementing something new just like they did with the French vehicles that will make this single shot cannon even more useful. And that is AI target assist. And that is exactly what it sounds like. Oh. Before I cover that, it does get negative 6 degrees only because it has to fire down over the hull here. So not great, but it gets positive 15 elevation. So you can put this at an angle and aim up quite a bit. Not really important, but that is something to look forward to or look for in tank destroyer since you will have to rely heavily on the terrain and positionings instead of just being aggressive in an MBT. But really not that important because that can change as well. AI target assist is exactly what it sounds like. It is an aim assist balanced into the vehicle. And the reason I call it an aim assist is because, and it'll show you here, if you auto aim, this vehicle won't just lock onto a target and keep it aimed at center mass, which is how auto aim usually works. Is if you right click a target, your gun follows it. This will lead the target if it's moving and try to give you the best possible penetrating shot just through auto aim. So you can have a very passive play style if you want to rely on auto aiming against softer or lower tier targets and it'll hit them with much more reliability than a normal auto aim vehicle. However, that is not the only thing the AI target assist does. If you don't want to auto aim and want to keep it manual, it will still give you that lead target. So if you've played any airplane games like War Thunder or World of Warplanes where you see a little reticle in front of a moving target and you shoot at that instead of shooting at the actual target so that way you can hit anything that's obviously moving really fast while vehicles and armored warfare don't move as fast as aircraft I imagine it's going to be balanced the same way. So you don't actually have to auto aim to get this aim assist. And that's going to be a really interesting feature in the game because it'll give a lot of players who aren't used to sniping or aren't really familiar with how tank destroyers work an edge. And it'll give players who are familiar with the Centauro and used to firing off four rounds rapidly if they need to an edge in adjusting their gameplay to we can only fire one round every four seconds but now with aim assist we can make those rounds count even more than we could with the Centauro. All around, this is going to be a really interesting vehicle. I'm going to keep watching the development of it and watch the development of this tech tree and hopefully in the next few weeks we'll get more news slowly leaking out from Armored Warfare about what other Japanese vehicles might be coming into the game. Hopefully quite a bit of high tier vehicles and fingers crossed, hopefully finally the Type 10 MBT will be implemented but it is way, way too early to tell, as this is the first ever progression vehicle from Japan in Armored Warfare. But I thought it was very cool. I thought it was a cool piece of news, and you can look at some of the shots of the model here. And again, I'll leave a link to in the description for this article. But it is just an interesting vehicle, and it's great to see new content. So as always, if you enjoyed this, please give it a like. It really shows me that you are watching and it helps me to better gauge what kind of content I should put out. If you want to get updated on any more Japanese vehicles or any other Armored Warfare content, I will be doing a review on the new Battle Pass vehicle, the Sergeant York. 
later. So if you want to get notified on that, please subscribe to the channel. It is a lot to support me and really keep me making these videos. And hit the little bell icon so you can get notified when those videos go up. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.